Hello, I'm Wilson Bateman, President of Global Trading Edge. What you're about to see is a dramatization of a serious workplace accident or incident, depending on the culture within your workplace. What we're trying to demonstrate here is what happens after a serious injury occurs in the workplace. It's part of a program we call SIP, System Incident Investigation Process. The idea in the, in the program is to look at incidents, why they occur, break them down, analyze them, and uh, use that information to ensure that we don't have a repeat incident in our workplace. Two employees are tasked with replacing the lights in the warehouse. They decide to use the lift truck, but not the cage. They uh, use a skid to lift the first worker up, and he is about to access the, the lights and just check to make sure that they're working properly. As he gets closer to the lights, he decides, uh, he does his inspection, and uh, decides to reach a little further just for further check. What you've just seen is a serious workplace injury. An employee has fallen, uh, the injuries are serious, a co-worker has now gone to call 911, and what you're going to see is the response to that call. The supervisors heard the scream and went to assist the employee. He's providing uh, first aid at this time. 911 was called and the uh, fire service is arriving on scene. The fire service are being directed to the location of the injured worker. They'll assist the supervisor and uh, continue first aid. The ambulance service the next to arrive on scene and two paramedics go in to provide additional assistance. They are quickly followed by the police department. The police will remain on scene as first aid is provided to the injured person. Here you're seeing the fire service and the attendants stabilize the worker. and get him ready to be transported to a hospital. The police officer at this time is talking with the supervisor and the forklift operator. What they're trying to determine is what exactly happened in this incident. Paramedics now have the employee stabilized and he is being transported. The media have just arrived on scene and they are getting prepared to interview a representative from the police department. At approximately 4 p.m. we received a call of an industrial accident in a warehouse in Burnside. Ourselves, uh, the ambulance and the fire department responded. At that time there was a, a male employee, approximately 50 years old, had been working on top of a forklift, had fallen. At that time uh, the injuries that they're looking at are, are head injuries and internal injuries. We don't have the condition of that individual. He has been transported to the hospital and is being treated at this time. He is still alive. Uh, we have the Nova Scotia Department of Labor being involved now. Uh, we are assisting them with the investigation. Uh, that's about all we could say at this point. As, as the uh, investigation comes to a conclusion, the Nova Scotia Department of Labor will respond and uh, say exactly what happened. Are there been previous labor violations at this scene? At this point, we're not sure if there has been or has not been. Uh, we will be working with the Department of Labor to check past records to see if this, uh, this company has had any uh, problems in the past. We heard from uh, some people outside that uh, this wasn't the first time this kind of thing had happened and other people have been injured in the past. Do you know any? Well, like I said, we're not, we can't confirm that. We are concerned that uh, this may be something that has happened in the past. If it has, well, it will be taken into consideration during this investigation. We have an unconfirmed report that the employer failed to provide proper safety equipment. Uh, could you comment on that? Well, that will be part of the investigation, looking into the rules and regulations, whether they're followed or not. Uh, if there is any indication that there was wrongdoing, then there is a possibility charges could be laid. Was the employee that got injured wearing any safety equipment? I can't answer that at this point, uh, but that, like I said, that would be part of the investigation to determine whether or not that the, 
the employee was wearing uh, equipment or whether there was equipment available to the employee. That's all part of the investigation. We understand that there's no inspection records available for the forklift. Could you just uh, comment on that? It's too early in this investigation for me to comment. Uh, once again, these are, all these questions you're asking would be part of the investigation. So we want answers for that as well. So once we do have those answers, we will respond to you. Thank you. Thank you. As you heard from the police officer, uh, they don't feel there's a need to, uh, to, to move further in a criminal investigation, so they've turned jurisdiction over to the Department of Environment and Labor. A labor inspector has arrived on scene. Uh, they're working with the police. The area is still cordoned off. They've uh, taken information from the police department, from the IDENT folks, and uh, they're beginning to uh, interview the lift truck operator and the, uh, the supervisor. In this case, they're looking at the scene and discussing with them the events that have occurred. Ten feet. Okay, can I just get you to take that tape down, maybe put the forklift up to the approximate height where you were working? Okay, basically I want you to put this tape back around, this forklift, this pallet is all coming out of service, I'm going to seize it, okay? Um, we're going to want to have the forklift inspected, the pallet's not to be moved or anything's to stay like it is until I release the scene, okay? Um, I'll be in touch with you, we'll be bringing someone over to go over the forklift. Have you had that inspected on a regular basis? Well, we had it inspected on a yearly basis, they have the manufactured container that we Okay, you got a safety program in place? got a safety program that we're working on. We're getting it started now. What about training for your forklift operators? Training. Well, Carl's been operating in now for five years. Ever had any formal training, Carl? Okay, basically what I'll be doing is I'll be coming over probably tomorrow, get a statement from Carl, sure. uh, yourself. Sure. Okay? Okay. All right. The inspector has just left the incident scene, although the investigation is still ongoing. He'll return in the next couple of days to gather additional information. So in summary, what we've done is we've taken you through a serious injury in the workplace and the response to that incident. Hope it helps you in the development of your program, and thank you for your time.